people are fucking dumb. You can say what you want about this country, and I love this place. I love the freedoms we used to have. I love it. I love that. You know? uh -huh. I love it when it didn't take a fucking catastrophe to get us to care for one another. I love the fact that we're on camera all the time from all angles. But you know what? You can say what you want about America. And I say I love this place. I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't live in any other time in history in any other place. But... Say what you want about America, land of the free, home of the brave. We got some dumbass motherfuckers floating around this country. <laughs> dumbass motherfuckers, you know? Yeah. Now, obviously, that doesn't include this audience. I understand that. You seem intelligent and perceptive, but the rest of them, holy jumping fucking shitballs. Dumber than a second coat of paint. And this ain't just ranting and raving. This ain't just blowing off steam. I got a little evidence to support my claim. It just seems to me, seems to me, that only a really low IQ population could have taken this beautiful continent, this magnificent American landscape that we inherited. Well, actually, we stole it from the Mexicans and the Indians, but <laughs> hey, it was nice when we stole it. It looked pretty good. It was pristine. Paradise. Have you seen it lately? Have you taken a good look at it lately? It's fucking embarrassing. Only a nation of unenlightened half-wits could have taken this beautiful place and turned it into what it is today, a shopping mall. A big fucking shopping mall. You know that? That's all you got. That's all you've got here, folks. Mile after mile of mall after mall. Many, many malls. Major malls and mini malls. They put the mini malls in between the major malls. And in between the mini malls, they put the mini marts. And in between the mini marts, you got the car lots, gas stations, muffler shops, laundromats, cheap hotels, fast food joints, strip clubs, and dirty bookstores. America the Beautiful. One big transcontinental commercial cesspool. And how do the people feel about all this? How do the people feel about living in a coast-to-coast -coast shopping mall? Well, they think it's just fucking dandy they think it is cool as can be because Americans love the mall they love the mall that's where they get to satisfy their two most prominent addictions at the same time shopping and eating millions of semi-conscious Americans day after day shuffling through the malls shopping and eating especially eating Americans love to eat they are they are fatally attracted to the slow death of fast food Hot dogs, corn dogs, triple bacon, cheeseburgers, deep fried butter, dipped in pork fat and cheese whiz, mayonnaise, soaked barbecue, mozzarella, patty melts. Americans will eat anything, anything, anything. If you were selling sautéed raccoons assholes on a stick, <laughs> Americans would buy them and eat them. These people, these people are efficient, professional, compulsive consumers. That's their, they think of that as, their, as the, the, their national pride. It's their civic duty, consumption. It's the new national pastime. Fuck baseball. It's consumption. The only true, lasting American value that's left, buying things. Buying things. People spending money they don't have on things they don't need. Money they don't have on things they don't need. So they can max out their credit cards and spend the rest of their lives paying 18% interest on something that costs twelve fifty, And they didn't like it when they got it home anyway. Not too bright, folks. Not too fucking...